In order to perform a CFD simulation, we need a geometry. Basic geometrical shapes such as box, cylinder and sphere can be created directly in SimFlow. However, if we require a more complex geometry, we need to create it in an external CAD program and then import it into SimFlow. We can import a geometry by clicking the Load Geometry button and simply selecting one of the geometry files. SimFlow supports the following geometry formats STL, Wavefront Object, Step, IGES, and BREP. So, if your model was created in a CAD program, you have to export it to one of these formats and then you will be able to import it into SimFlow. Let's load the catalytic converter geometry. If we click Open, the geometry will appear in the graphic window. As you can see, we can rotate it using the left mouse button in any direction we want. There is also another way of importing a geometry. We can simply drag and drop the file into the graphic window in SimFlow and the geometry will be imported. We can hide the geometries here, for example the catalytic converter, so we now see only the wing in the graphic window. But let's focus on the catalytic converter geometry. By the way, we can toggle visibility by clicking on this icon as well. So, we can hide the wing geometry and show the catalytic converter geometry here. We can also hit the Fit View button to display the entire geometry. In the list of options there are a few useful tools which allow for geometry manipulation. For example, we can translate the geometry. So, choose the Translate tool and let's say we want to translate the geometry by 10 meters in the X direction. When we click the Translate button, we will see that the geometry has moved. Another useful feature is geometry rotation. We can rotate the geometry along a predefined axis if we choose the Rotate tool from the list. For example, let's rotate the geometry along the Z axis by 45 degrees. If we click the Rotate button, we can see that the geometry has been rotated. If the geometry was imported into SimFlow in units other than meters, we would have to scale it using the Scale tool. So we should click Scale, and if we want to scale the geometry uniformly, for example to scale it from millimeters to meters, we should use a constant scaling factor, press Enter, and click the Scale button. The geometry has shrinked, but if we click the Fit View button, we will zoom into the model again. We could also use a mouse scroll for this purpose. In some cases, problems associated with geometry representation in the geometry files may occur. For example, geometry may not be watertight, there may be unwanted very tiny gaps between surfaces, etc. To check whether the geometry is not corrupted, we can use the Check tool. If we click Check, the report will be shown in the console here so that we can verify whether there are any errors and whether we can use this geometry for mesh generation.